Fucking. Hey everybody, I'm Mario Lopez, and you're in the wet spot. Yeah. You guys ready to get this show on the road or what? Yeah. We're feeling good. Yeah. yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce your first guest, my man. Check out his podcast, Spiraling Up, and see him headlining the Comedy Cellar's Fat Black Pussycat Lounge on Sunday, June 23rd. Give it up for John Fish, everybody! Yeah! yeah. Settle in, settle in. All right, and your next guest, a comedian and author. She hosts the Guys We Fucked and the Two Less Lonely Girls podcast. It's Corinne Fisher! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hello. Yes. All right, let's see if I can pronounce this right. You've seen him on Comedy Central, and his podcast, Messy, is coming out soon. Give it up for Mayron Kagani. Oh, I fucking thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Beautiful. All right, and finally, this is the lady you came for. You've seen her on You've seen her on Laughs on Fox, the Wendy Williams show, Comedy at the Stonewall. She's a compound media regular. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chrissy Mayer! Yes! Yes! Hi! Oh my god, this is happening. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, audience, for coming. This is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Wow, you guys are beautiful. What a beautiful group of unstable people we've assembled. This is really great. Uh, and I want to thank our lovely panelists for coming out. Clap it up for them. Woo! Woo! Uh, welcome to The Wet Spot. We are here to answer your sex, dating, relationship questions. So only fun shit, no news, no boring stuff. Like, we're here to have a fucking really good time and, and fix your life at the same time. You know, we're just here to fix all your life's problems. And uh, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your calls. Call in to the show live with your sex, dating, relationship questions. Oh, here's the number right here. one 877 Four, six. Yes. Think of something that's wrong with you, uh, call in, <laughs> and we will fix it. I mean, none of us are doctors, but yeah. we all have... We've all been to one, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we all have our areas. Of, we've all been to a doctor. We all have our areas of expertise. You were all hand-selected because <laughs> of your very specific qualities. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, Fish, you've been to over, what, like 20 comedian weddings? <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was something I didn't remember that I was an expert at. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're a very stable wedding guest. Yes. Yeah, yes. people invite you to their weddings. Yeah, that's true. You have yeah, not I made a so. scene at any single one, so. No, I'm yeah. a lightweight, so I don't drink that much. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. No, I'm you're expert great. at not getting married. <laughs> <laughs> and Corinne... Is available Tuesday at noon, yeah. You're available Tuesday at noon, uh, which is my favorite quality in a person. <laughs> really, really is. Great lip, great cleavage. You're, well, this, is hold, this is holding out. <laughs> yeah, I'm into it. Any moment it could pop out, because it's Good. an A cup and a C cup dress. I was told if there was a lull to take out an ass or a tit, you know. <laughs> I don't know how I would take out one ass, like a one single cheek. cheek. I do. Yeah. <laughs> and Mayron, you're an expert in many things, many cavities, many... <laughs> Absolutely. Dental and anal. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I have terrible oral and anal hygiene. Oh, yeah. Um, so while we're waiting for maybe somebody in the audience to come up with a question or maybe for somebody to call in with a question, we're going to start right out with one of our emailed... Questions. I was emailed a lot of questions uh, from a lot of unstable people. <laughs> a lot of our uh, beloved Twitter fans have written emails, uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it because a lot. Some of these were real questions. Oh, okay. And so, <laughs> I read that they all seem pretty earnest. Some were pre-produced. Some were. <laughs> some were, as you'll see, very specific, just sexual questions about me. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Which, uh, no, those were mine. Yeah. <laughs> We need a second game where we guess which ones you uh, put in. You Thank you. <laughs> and without further ado, here we go. Uh, are these supposed to be anonymous? Should I be reading the names? No, I'm going to. 
I'm not going to out these people and their problems. Yeah, yeah, let's keep it anonymous. All right, here we go. Share their email address. <laughs> yeah. Can we bring up a photo? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, let's just bring up their social security number. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is a real question. Okay. I look fairly normal, but I'm chronically ill, and these tits and ass ain't ill. I take so many... <laughs> this is the question. It's, co- it's coming. I take... <laughs> I take so many meds that I got kind of, I give kind of a numb clit and puss, and it reduces my sex drive. So, like, her medication is ruining her sex drive. Mm-hmm. Should I be choked now? Oh. Or okay. should I, or should I just leave my boyfriend and get black dick? I gotta do. <laughs> I, I love that. That's like your first. All right. Uh, I gotta do something different to get me off, Corinne. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What do you think? I feel a little hurt that this went. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Gotta be honest. This person should do. Uh, I, I, well, number one, I love that Compound Media is getting more diverse. Galactic. <laughs> I haven't heard that before on mm. anything on this network, so mm. that's nice. Um, I don't know why your clit would be numb, but your throat wouldn't be. So I don't know how choking <laughs> would rectify this. Uh, my clit's not numb. I do like to be choked. Um, Me too. Yeah. All right. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> you. That's why we're both. Like not right now, but like. No, yeah. no, no. I mean, like, yeah. If yeah. someone started doing it right now, I wouldn't like it. But in the bedroom. Yeah. Um, like dad. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if your clit's no, like I, numb all the time, I would actually speak to a doctor about that. But I mean, if it's numb to your your touch, you could try using some kind of a vibrator before you go right to choking. Yeah. Because I don't know how I've never been choked so good that it stimulated my clit. You know, it's like you yeah. still need. But usually, <laughs> you have. Oh yeah, no, my my clit's been on fire just <laughs> from other kinds of fire. physical violence. My clit is almost <laughs> almost burst. Uh, the 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 womanizer. Have you heard of the womanizer? Yeah, the suck. Is the it sucking. worth it? I don't. I use my finger. I'm a natural. Lady. Have you ever womanized? Wow. No, because I I I don't want to use something so intense on my clit because then there's no going back from there. But That's maybe where this I'm hippie at. could use it. Yeah. There's a there's a yeah. toy called the woman. That looks like a computer mouse, and then yeah. it latches onto your clit like a lamprey. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then it sucks and sucks and sucks, and if it doesn't fall off, you jizz everywhere. Yes. Could it? Could it like yeah. uh, finish my period early? That kind of suction. Yes. <laughs> there that? she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's her. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I, I have one. Like a, I didn't open it. Looks though. like a Bluetooth yeah. headset. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was I think I, my dad gave me one of those. <laughs> this looks like it belongs in a gay scuba kit or something. Yes. Somehow they haven't made one for dudes that does this. They haven't made a it's dick a sucking thing, but they've made a. Uh, oh, yeah, no, flashlights are weird, man. Yeah, that's really? just you just insert. There's no suction there, right? And they get super dirty super quick. <laughs> do you feel like you're fucking a thermos? Like just a. <laughs> there are other tricks you can do. You can actually like uh, defrost liver and put it in a zip lock bag. Not that I've... That you would eat? Oh, wow. Uh, and then later you feed it to... You, it becomes kibble. Wait, you, fu- you <laughs> fucked a Ziploc bag? Are you sure you're not straight? I fucked <laughs> a grapefruit. The worst thing I've ever yeah. fucked was a grapefruit that I microwaved. <laughs> okay. I microwaved a grapefruit. Not a lot in common. I fucked it and I was I mean, literally the cleanest my dick has ever been. <laughs> will be. You probably smelled great. It was amazing. Ooh. It was literally amazing. I'd be nervous. For the high holidays, <laughs> try uh, chopped liver. <laughs> 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 the high holidays are you a Jew? Yeah. Okay, that's you can stay. Yeah. Uh, John Fish <laughs> said that in advance, Jew. but uh, <laughs> should have checked for that. Um, no, good. <laughs> Sorry. I was stuck to the couch. I'm gonna I put my shirt back. Let me one second. I, I, I don't, I don't know seat. why I was just stuck. Is your lab? There, she's not a good man. Your chest hair? Yep. Yeah, it was just the back. He was back. born with that bow tie on. You just put oh, a blanket on the back. I'm wicked into her. Okay, so so overall. <laughs> Uh, our our advice for ex- person X is uh, yeah that choking is not necessarily the answer. Like if you're numb from medications, maybe yeah try a vibrator or a sex toy or stop complaining. Numb from medication sounds fucking great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and numb from medication is great. And uh, and by the way, the small black dicks happen. Yeah. Small black dicks absolutely happen. Small black I have sucked matter. more dicks than you think it happens. Imagine, you're like, yeah, I got my first black dick, and you're like, oh, what? Yeah, and mammoth Irish guys happen. Mm. Mammoth! 
Wow. I haven't seen the world, clearly. Yeah. The old tools. <laughs> the old, oh, the old tools the old, are here. That's amazing. <laughs> old tools was so good. <laughs> not all cursed. That's not even an Irish accent. All right, I'm moving on to this next question here. Um, again, anonymous. Should I wash up before giving anal? These are a lot of little questions. Yes. <laughs> He did it. Smashed. <laughs> I thought he said wash up. <laughs> like you're just like. But I like that he said before giving. Yeah. Giving Who gives anal? anal. Well, I mean, putting your penis in a butt. Yeah, the giver is less. I mean, you know. Oh. Let, it's the cleanliness giving is less it. of giving a giving it. problem. Don't you give anal, Mayron? I, I absolutely. I do. I do give and receive anal. Ooh. <laughs> but as is that why you gift. relate? <laughs> it's holiday gifts. It's really birthdays and anniversaries. Um. But I didn't understand. As in, like, should I bother washing my dick before I stick it into the dirtiest cavern known to man? Right. Uh. Is that what he's asking? Yeah, I believe so. As yeah. in, like, should I even bother? Yeah. Or should I just slather it in, like, mm. you it's know, like gruyere? like if you're going to go do a Spartan race or, like, a mud run. It's like, am I going to shower before I do this really yeah. disgusting? That's a very good. Yeah. A mud run is so good. It's a mud run in its own. This is a three-parter. Okay, so it was the washing up before giving anal. If I take my blow-up doll to a swingers couples party, will they let me in? <laughs> I don't think that counts as a plus one, no. It's not a plus one if they can deflate and go into your purse. Right. <laughs> if I come too soon, do girls want to cuddle or get the hell out? Speech impediment, man. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Is that a character that we know? Anyone knows who that is. He is a he's a person. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's just his like moniker. All right. Anyway. It's the morning viewers. I mean, <laughs> this doesn't seem like a real question. I mean, the one real question in here is if I come too soon, do girls want to cuddle or get the hell out? They want you to get out so they can text their friends about you. <laughs> that feels personal, yeah. John. <laughs> what is it? Personally, I want it, I want them to get out so I can then masturbate. It doesn't matter if they come too soon. I mean, just like any, I want anyone to get out after the sex is done. Like, it has, I don't care when you came, you know? I don't even mind someone who comes too soon because it's like compliments to the chef, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I feel the same yeah, way. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm Thank that great. <laughs> like, if I can, I see every penis as a challenge, you know? Like, I'm going to get in there. I'm going to, you know, whatever your problems were. I love it. When, when a guy tells me, like, oh, I've had XYZ problem. And then I'm like, oh, yeah? Because they're about to be fixed. I, I, yeah. I like, desperately <laughs> want to see, like, a, oh, you're a, a video. A video montage of Chrissy with like a bunch of dicks <laughs> and Angela Lansbury singing Climb Every Mountain. <laughs> Here's the thing. I just realized this the other day. I've been sucking dick for 20 years. And that's I could have. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy realization? Like, that's the longest job I've ever had. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Never taken a sick day. Ever give a blowjob while you're not feeling well? You're just oh, like, yeah. yeah, you're like, oh, this is, I'm not going to ruin the moment with my snot. I don't even have to lubricate. I can just but sort of. Tonsillitis you know. actually feels nice. Because uh, if you can fine. find someone with like a bumpy uvula, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you see, we just bumped up to the number one show on the network. Hey! <laughs> one show. on bumpy Tom, uvulas. Tom's just fucking, we just got up to number one. Look oh. how good he looks in a shirt. Yeah, wow. And versus. The other way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, is that your like twin body brother? It's not a body shaming <laughs> shirt. Right. We're just saying you have a more of a shirt body. You have a shirt <laughs> body. That's all. A shirt body. I'm more of a shirt guy. Yeah. yeah. This were shirts versus skins, I'd put you in shirts. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, guy. I appreciate yeah. that. Is that your estranged brother next to you? What's yeah. going on there? Yeah, this is my buddy. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Do that, is this? I no longer have a chubby. Just a couple, no. a couple of straight guys hanging out. That's actually, uh, this is really weird, but there's three fishes right now. That's Ben yeah. Fisher, Corinne Fisher, yeah. John Fish. That's pretty weird. <gasps> wow! Pretty Four weird. more, and we can have an Italian Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? I love it. <laughs> Very ready. That's probably the funniest thing I'll say all show. <laughs> <laughs> we have another, John? Yeah. Do you have any thoughts? Before I move on to this next question, I, I just in general, you should just clean 
All the time. You seem like you have clean yeah, genitals. He, he yeah, looks yeah, very yeah, clean. Doesn't yeah. he? You look at him, you go, yeah. no stains on his shirt. On, even on the jeans, which you can get away with wearing for like many, many weeks, you know. Yeah. And you have like some, you know, beaded bracelets, which means you're, we go to the same Reiki person. I know that's like not something that people who watch this care about. But, <laughs> I just think you know. clean before getting it, giving it, taking it, clean it. Before breakfast, it sounds all the like time. too many yeah. cleans. Yeah. Just Loss. Keep it clean. Well, you even have like a proper crease in your T-shirt. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank yeah. God. In terms, <laughs> before you before you take it in the in the pooper though. Okay. Uh, they, they uh, do. They, we, I should offer this, right? There are bulbs, right? That they sell. You can get it on Amazon for like seven bucks, mm -hmm. right? And you fill the bulb with water or coffee if you want a nice buzz. <laughs> you can literally Cold? fire. Well, no, hot coffee. I so you know. <laughs> Strips of flesh come out. You know what I mean? Warm. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's a cold coffee, cold brew. So iced coffee, okay. Iced coffee. I have not been living a full life. <laughs> no, you have not. No. And uh, no, and then you fire coffee up your juxy. And then you hold it for as long as you can. The best and then you spray it on the wall and you call it art and then I put it up at MoMA. But uh, there she is! There you go. Oh my God. Cheapest chips worth every cent. Oh. Do you and take that guys, to work? Is that like a commuter mug? Like, is that. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, of course. I have two in my bag. I have two in my bag, just in case I, uh, on the train, someone offends me. But, uh, <laughs> Holy and shit. guys, this is also a handy thing to use. It, like, you should get your Ooh. butt eaten at some point. Shouldn't yeah. all men get their butt eaten at some And point? women. So yeah. prior to having your ass eaten, do the do your partner a service. Is this an enema? Yeah. It's a it's it's not quite is a, it a full woke enema. enema? <laughs> it is. It's just a bulb, and then you fire away. I think my mom shoved it's it in a my hand nose grenade. when I was an infant. <laughs> My mom had her ass toy in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's an eye-opening show. This reminds me when my mom would try to force wash my mouth out with soap. Like, can you imagine? Sure. Like, <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> sounds like rape. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> nobody in the fucking audience? Your lives are fucking perfect? Okay. All right. I see how it is. None of you have questions. Good. Uh, that's fine, because we have plenty of email questions. <laughs> I okay. Think maybe we already answered some of theirs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who came from the furthest away audience? I'm curious. Furthest away? What do we got here? Distance. Uh, Jersey. Washington Heights. Nice. Okay. Story. Okay. Story. Okay. A story. Not a good audience guy. I've just realized. I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> a second. Yeah, this right. is a huge mistake. He's not ready. He's not yeah, the shirt. The shirt's really throwing him off. Yeah, Sorry. The shirt is not really working. Connecticut. Where are you from, buddy? Brooklyn, nice. You, Jersey, all right. It's got a lot of choice. Have you ever been to a Brooklyn open mic? <laughs> have you ever been to a yes. Brooklyn open mic? Uh, no, I have not. Good, good, That's good. That's why you're good still job. standing here today. Um, all right. <laughs> Here's another question. Hi, Chrissy. Uh, it's I'm not gonna say his name because I can read it. Question: Have you or your girlfriend squirted while having sex or during masturbation? Does you or your girlfriend squirt it? All right. So this is the same question beautiful. twice. I don't. Who's currently the have, I don't currently have a girlfriend. I guess he's just asking maybe if any of my girls that girlfriend. are friends. Yeah. I had a girlfriend squirt. Hey, yeah. Yes. yeah, you were just she, telling yes. us about your girlfriend. <laughs> You're like, I'm a fish, give me some water yeah. to No, swim I liked it, it Jesus. at first. At first it was great, and then after it was like, I guess I gotta go to Home Depot. <laughs> what did you do to make her squirt? I had sex. <laughs> your dick made her squirt? Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. so Jesus sweet. Oh my Amazing God. squirting dick. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Your yeah. dick must have fingers on it. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. you I got squirt stories, Chrissy. You got a squirt story, Figs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your so squirt I, I, story? I'm surprised. So I would I would smack my cock on her clitoris, like, and she would squirt like crazy. Now, my question is this. Is squirting coming, or is it just squirting? Because I would say, I would be like, baby, did you come? Because I'm that weird guy who's like, did you come? Did you come? Which is a total turn You mean every guy? No, yeah, yeah, no, no. Just, just guys that live with their moms. So I, I would ask her, and she'd be like, can't you, you tell? Because I'm like crazy. <laughs> 
she would constantly squirt. She'd be like, can, can you tell? I came Ow. five times. But I didn't believe it. Cause I'm, Sounds like a humble brag, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. not only, because now I'm with, my, my current girl doesn't squirt at all. But when she comes, I know she fucking comes. Cause she she can listen to this? She worships the devil. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but this girl, the, my other girl, which is here. Santeria Dick. I think we've all seen <laughs> She's Dominican. You're right. He's just right. wanted to brag that he could make a girl come <laughs> once, twice, thrice. Well, God bless, you know, I mean, this is what I look like melted bubble gum with my shirt off. But I could fucking, I could do the job in a sack. Um, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm a doctor. Uh, there are traces of urea. It's, yes. This is an element of piss in a woman's, like, squirt. But it's not pee. It comes from, I think, a different hole. But it has properties. Corinne, jump in any time. Well, the thing is, that there, there, there's, no, uh, there's no hardcore answer to this yeah, question. No yeah. good science. Yeah, because they don't put any money into medical research for women's pleasure. So there's no there's no answer. People fight. Some people say it's pee. Some people say it's something different. But there's no real answer scientifically yet. Can I, can I throw out a piece of lady knowledge? Just, yeah. just in the interest squirt of, research? It's about science research. Do you know that uh, drugs that are tested on uh, mice and rats, they don't test them on female mice and rats because they get their periods and that's inconvenient. What? Mm. So literally any drug that gets tested is exclusively tested on male animals. They have no idea what it does to female animals. Oh, Take wow. that! Learn, ladies and gentlemen! I have my period Learn. right now! Go! Yeah. Periods? No rat, no. Rat We're good. Squirt. Rat, rat oh, squirt. No. Rat, rat squirt. squirt. No rat rat squirt. Squirt. Yes, but it smells like cheese. <laughs> oh, I hate that rat squirt. I <laughs> used to be able to squirt. Rat. No more. I think I have, uh, my issues have built up to a plate. I don't know. I think I, I could squirt before my mom died. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a that's called a mental that's a mental thing. Mom squirt. No, yeah, no, it's I mental. Don't. You need the <laughs> Yeah, that's an emotional. So How weird. You need emotional the guy block. version of you to roll up their sleeves if and If I had the guy <laughs> version of me, oh my god, I would never leave the house. <laughs> and I, I, I've squirted rectally. Room. You'd want <laughs> That's what? diarrhea. Yeah, yeah no. Squirting is no. diarrhea. What happens when you do mushrooms? I a shot on someone. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad case of mushrooms, my friend. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, my God. I really did. <laughs> it is like the eight. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> do you guys believe in... How many people are... Do you believe in squirting? What's up with the audience? Do you guys believe in squirting? Not like God or Santa. I'm not a Do you believe in squirting? Yes. Do you believe in squirting? Do you believe in squirting? Do you believe in squirting? Because it makes the bed smell not... Totally like pee, but like pee adjacent. Yes. Like, oh. Does it smell cummy? I, I obviously yeah, will like never. Cat it it reminded me of cat wet. urine. It smelled like cat urine. Yeah, Feline I mean, there's urine. There's definitely some pee in it, I think. Your girl's like an asparagus Thanks. eater who's pissing on you. You're like, I'm the king. Are you talking to a mic? Are you laughed up? I got a lab mic. I'm laughed up. Yeah, no, no, I'm laughed up. Not just screaming, squirt. I don't know. I'm gonna squirt it all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, squirting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take a moment just, of silence for squirting. I'm just going back with myself there. All right. Now we're all worried about you post No, it's fine. You know, can you imagine, like, the next time I do squirt, it's going to be like a fucking, like, the town's water, like, gushing down. <laughs> It'll mean that your mother's been reincarnated. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. I'm done. You a rich guy yet. I'm here. Let's get some coffee and get a crepe. Mom's in heaven. Mm. We're just going to do a seance for your mom. Pull your skirt yeah. up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Do you know my mom, my dead mom, visits me via the TV I in love, my bedroom? I love this plot change. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, unless I turn off the, the button on like the uh, stick, the stick where the plugs go. Okay. Power strip. The power strip, got, got. Unless that's off, the fucking TV will turn on only when, as soon as I enter the room. It'll magically kind of turn on and it'll say like Vizio or like... Kawasaki or whatever, smart TV. whatever it says. <laughs> it's just, uh, and then I yeah. fucking swear to God, it's my mom saying hi. Oh. She waits till I like, get in the room, and then the TV. But she doesn't put it on to anything I like. It's just like the. <laughs> it's a commercial. Have you oh, stopped she... squirting? It's <laughs> 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 very nice. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I'm terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> 
right, I have another very, this is a very real question. Real. Hi, Chrissy, or whoever checks this. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's me. <laughs> My question is about a relationship I've been in for four years. We haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> really? What's your longest? Wow. Three inches. Do you know what my longest was? Yeah. Yeah, four inches. <laughs> Fuck you, Mayron! God damn it. Three years? That's like four years, pretty much. Except not. <laughs> yeah. It's the same gist. It's the same relationship. Do you know what I mean? It's like, eh. It's just yeah. another Christmas. Another or year. Hanukkah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to be available soon. <laughs> Please meet me in the men's room for all personal questions after. <laughs> Thanks, bearded me. <laughs> <laughs> Bearded fish. <laughs> Amazing. Um, all right. The relationship for four years. We haven't seen each other in over a year now. What? Oh, so it's three years. Yeah. <laughs> You're back in the game. <laughs> yeah. That's... And communication of all kinds has started breaking down. Uh, there's breaks between text messages. The breaks between the messages get longer and longer. I don't know if it's denial or me having a problem with making the hard decision, but what do you think I should do? The answer to my question is probably simple and something I need to hear, but I don't want to. Regardless, I thought it was worth asking. Oh, a lot of details there. But yeah, it just sounds like need to break up. you've been in a relationship <laughs> for four years yeah. and, and they haven't seen each other in a year and their communication is like not as regular. Yeah, they're, uh, like one of them is at least fucking someone else already. A hundred percent. It sounds 100%. like it's her. Yeah. I, oh, I didn't even or know him. if this is a man or a woman. This is a man. It's definitely her or him. Yeah, it's, like, it's one of them. <laughs> I don't know. The future it's is me. female. Yeah. yeah, she has another family, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> wow, you're like, um, she, the texts aren't going. Yeah, this is more, I just, I feel bad. It's not really a question that needs advice. Well, Go out wants, and fuck somebody. She wants to yes. hear you say, break up with him. Oof. Do get you, a sex worker guys, to like get you know to to grease the to grease the wheels. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hire a sex worker, like get back in the game and then fucking move on. Are you guys people that will break up with somebody or will you fucking ghost and get weird until they break up with you? I break oh I'll break up. You will be the breaker upper. Yeah. Corinne. Break up. We'll break up. Yeah, yeah. Right. murder, break things. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, flip a table. You're very, like... No question. Yeah. Ghosting yeah. yeah. is more work than breaking up with someone. You know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hard. Like, in the age of social media, it's very hard to ghost someone. I feel yeah, like your you know. breakups could be its own podcast. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. yeah. I think you would throw a dog out a window. Guys, I injure. <laughs> <laughs> throw a dog. <laughs> Catch Ghosting. our fucking dog, you miserable shit! You made me. Know. I uh, yeah, probably. But no, th this guy. D the, the the fact that he hasn't seen this person in a year is that's bad. That's unfortunate. This is a this is a real question from a woman. real man. Oh, from a real man. Look at it. I was gonna say. I think the main question is: uh, Is say this the man name. or a woman? Don't, but it's I think one of our ghosting fans. is more uh, extended stress, and the breakup is. Quick anxiety. So yeah, I mean, I go for quick anxiety. Mm -hmm. I can't live with the stress. And plus, like, you need to like break up faster so you can fuck faster. Fuck faster. Yeah. I feel bad. I would feel. I've never been the person to break up like in a real, well, real. That's why your life's in the state. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I did break up with one guy. He was a bartender at the Greenwich Treehouse. Yeah, that's what it's called. We have his email. What? Yeah. Can I we only call dated him? him because he looked like Robert Downey Jr. But then oh. he. Got down from the bar and he was like fucking five feet tall. Ooh. Like there was, he had lifts in his bar because it was yeah. his bar. So he just made it taller. Oh my god, he made himself a fuckable height at his and bar. Yeah, <laughs> yes, and it worked. That's a great trick. I love how you won't read the names of these people, but you're giving the coordinates <laughs> of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like a partial owner. He's probably still there. Oh my yeah. god, I'm obsessed with this guy now. <laughs> he was cute. He was like, but then he would get, he'd be like, whoop. Right, I'm 5'2". So he was shorter than you? He was right here. He was right at fucking eye level, which makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, I, I need some okay. distance. Like, I, don't mind yeah. I don't mind short, but like not shorter than me. I'm 5'4". Yeah, you have to be able to like wear a heel. All I wear are heels. It's oh. the only thing that gives me strength. <laughs> we need to make a list of issues that Chrissy needs to address. Hey, it's not about me. It's true. We it's should. Not about me. It's about this pink implant. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. Ew. It's like a contact lens. I like it. One titty fell out. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Chrissy, did you date the guy? Did you did you go yes, out for drinks? Yes, we dated for like two months. Wow. He broke up with me on 9/11. 
Not, oh. not the 9 11. A terrorist. Just a 9 11. <laughs> he just wanted me to never forget him. <laughs> Which I didn't. He's, I swear to God, he did. He, he does. Did does cocaine. I guess I'm giving a lot of details now. And I wasn't okay. Are you talking about Gina Biscani? <laughs> I was not okay with all the cocaine use. I was like, tall. dude, you can have some of my Adderall. You can do coffee. Like, you don't need. You can do coffee? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I'm shove like... this in your ass yeah. Yeah, exactly. when it's not hot. <laughs> do a cold coffee and yeah, yeah. Like cold brew. As a person who's never done cocaine, like, I'm just saving myself for marriage. Big deal. <laughs> uh, I was just, it kind of spooked me out. He was like, just doing tons of coke and I was like hey like have Adderall have coffee and he was like you know what you're too healthy you're just I'm breaking up with you because you're t- you're just too healthy and I was like what do you you can smoke weed just like out of an apple I don't know I kind of want to send Corinne into this bar I want to send Corinne into this bar to seduce him undercover yes. undercover, and then be like let's go on a date and the first date would be like a one on one basketball game so that like he would then like show up to the court and he's like four foot nothing and be, oh I thought you were so much taller <laughs> I don't know Foible was making me meet his parents like too soon like we went within off. two months yes were they tiny <laughs> <laughs> Also tiny. Ooh. He opened his door. My dad, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> he was like, Ooh. I saw how the sausage was made. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I was like, half of you, half of you. Okay, got it. <laughs> but they had great ice cream in Mystic, Connecticut. How about, um, a so- how about his actual sausage? Oompa Loompas have a lot of treats. <laughs> oh, it's like the home of Mystic Pizza? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. I'm really giving too many details. Okay. Wow. Sorry. That's a small town. <laughs> Here's another real question. At least you have an audience question. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. A problem has arisen here we go. in the show because they're still here. Hey, love, what's your name? <laughs> I got a question from Wait, Cadence. You are standing in front of this person. I have a, qu- I have a question from I have a question from Cadence. I'm blocking Cadence them. Oh, that's perfect. Jesus Christ. Look at his red underwear. Red underwear. Oh, red underwear. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, come okay. on, Diggs. Have them come out. Oh, like, come out. Cadence, Cadence, come on. Get your life together. Lord, yes. Woman. Yes, Cadence. Yes. yes, here we go. Can we see her? She's right here. She's go for it, Cadence. Girl. Thank you for picking a cute audience member, first of all. You're welcome. Spell video. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Uh, so, my question is I work with kids a lot, but then I also have like a really raunchy sense of humor and I feel like online I have to pick between like how do I stay professional and people still want to work with me (laughs) as someone who's around kids and babies and things like that and how do I find like a boyfriend slash someone who like Mm. isn't you know two profiles yeah yeah really yeah yeah what's your name are you yeah. I forgot your name. Is it Cadence? Cadence, Cadence right, because like your email was something different. Okay. Oh, yeah. Cadence, so you're no longer anonymous. Yeah, two <laughs> profiles. Yeah, two profiles. profiles. One okay. and one that's like, and obviously your dirty one has like some kind of cryptic, you know what I mean? It's like K dash dense. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there are a few X's private. on before it, a oh, Z. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be private, like you have yeah. to oh, okay. ask. And then to, keep it private. Yeah. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Keep it private. Wait, 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 you, wait. Do you work at a school? He's gone. It, no. What? <laughs> She's gone. What? She's gone. Sorry. Yeah. Do you work at bios. a school? Like, what kind of school? Well, I work at, like, a theater school, and then I also work so for, gay kids. like, uh, interactive concert series for <laughs> babies. She seems like kids. a very sweet person. Very sweet. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, she, but she, she wants to get down. I could feel it. She wants to get she down. She wants to get down, and she doesn't know what to do on Facebook. Yeah, but no one expects, like, the theater teacher not to be fucking. Just don't fuck the kids, and you're fine. Yeah. 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 I used to work at a K-12 through on the Upper East Side in admissions, so I was, like, in charge of who got in. Ooh. Ooh. A little, the, and Ooh. I had to leave because I was fired. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm, not an, I'm not an animal. I would not go younger than 16. But like there were a couple of the seniors that were cute. Like, do you know you are? You're such a Mary Kay Letourneau. Oh my god! <laughs> hold on, hold on, because you look at a 17 year old, you go, okay, first of all, low to no STDs. Yeah, lean, <laughs> lean into this, Chrissy. Sure, sure, sure. Probably like a nice internship lined up, like something at J.P. Morgan. Like he's going places, right? A nice little jacket. <laughs> what? <laughs> so 
Oh, you can a take starter a starter jacket? <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like it's nice, a, it's not a nice jacket. little jacket. It's, it's okay. There, It's possible to be. There was Captain America on his jacket, so he was going to keep it. Nice little jacket, the last thing Chrissy Mayer said before she got arrested. <laughs> I'm like, his mom ironed it, but he wore it well. <laughs> Cool mom. Stay in school, kids, for me. Wait for me. <laughs> I'm not the only person who's been attracted to a... Se- what, a kid? What? I'm not the only person who's been attracted to a child. No, no thousands of people Rally. in our correctional system have been attracted to children. Like Tens of thousands. Like R. Kelly, it happens to all of us. You're totally fine. Not at this point, but like if you were to take that person and go, okay, in ten years, that 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 boy is gonna be a man. One hundred percent. I do. My yeah. friend. My I friend see the I future. A, future hotties of America. We used to have this thing where we would be like, this kid's gonna be hot in the future. Yeah, it's like it's a green banana that when it turns green yellow, banana. it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> delicious. It's a yes. fucking green banana. But it's a green banana. Yeah. It's a plantain. Nice. It's a plantain. <laughs> it's Dominican. <laughs> Feeling, John? Are you I'm feeling, feeling okay? I feel yeah. like oh you know, yeah. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> the crease in your shirt is slowly going away. Oh yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> I am fully. I fully have tit flop sweat. Mm-hmm. Tit sweat. This is another real question. Are you ready? <laughs> Good day, Chrissy. I have a question for you about dating in your 30s and 40s. I have been single for a little over four years now. Sad, I know. Insert loser tag here. Already he's putting himself down. Love him or herself or her. <laughs> Admittedly, I've had my heart and confidence smashed pretty badly, and I just kind of gave up after a while. My question is twofold. Fucking love these twofold questions. Uh, do you think women in their 30s and 40s are still primarily looks driven, or can personality overcome the physical shortcomings of a man in a woman's eyes? Second, how do you think I can overcome a crippling approach? Uh, he has anxiety, he or she has anxiety without alcohol or drugs. What are some relatable topics that I can study and talk about that will make me seem like better dating material? Oh, all right, so this topics is loaded. Can I study? I'm Chrissy Mayer fan. <laughs> no! All right, this is a person who I, maybe they don't feel so good about their looks. They're worried if their personality is enough. Uh, it's a man, though. It's a man, fine. It's well, we, I think it's important for the question because, like, uh, women care less about looks. Like, this is, like, scientific fact. I mean, like, we'll also look around. There's a lot of tens with fives, mm-hmm. so yeah. it's kind of like... A lot what, of bad math going on. Yeah, yeah, that's what New York City is. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> John, what's the highest number you've been with? I don't do that kind of thing. You don't rank? You don't see color? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have been fucked by every number, including decimals. <laughs> I've been fucked to by a few fractions, fractions, fractions myself. Fractions in that uh, yeah. woo, Get that fraction dick. Yeah. yeah. Exponents in that hiney. I've been with a point five or two. <laughs> yeah, absolutely your personality matters. I mean, you're a dude with a per- good personality and you're not good looking. He'll probably be fine. Yeah, learn yeah. a learn a skill, a trade, learn how to give a good <laughs> back massage. Take a blacksmith. Yeah. Yes. Learn <laughs> <Burn> butter. <laughs> but t- yeah, go to like a class, cooking class, or s- do something that'll yeah. increase you get, yeah. your li- enrich your life, but also you can meet people. Yeah, I fucking love a dude who can cook. Yeah, cook, put up a shelf. Like I love yes. any guy who can make me a warm meal, which is why I identify as a pansexual. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god. I really I enjoyed that. that Thank you, You didn't fucking laugh though. I went like this. You enjoyed it on the inside. Oh, no, I was outside right here. Your penis <laughs> pulsed a little bit. <laughs> I want this person to fit, like uh, the probably I don't know a little therapy a little yes, therapy, therapy to, is always to build answer. up the self esteem and self worth a little bit. Am I, think I we can put that, that? Uh, across the board suggestions for the whole pile? Yeah, exactly. Don't say that. I won't have a show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm sure most of them can't afford it. That's why. <laughs> don't worry. They're writing into the wet spot. <laughs> this is a subscription based channel. Yes. Yes. These people can afford. Yeah. Dozens of candies. <laughs> Plus, can't you? Aren't there therapy apps? There are there, sliding yeah. scales. Those are more there expensive, are... though. Talkspace is like $300 a month. What? Yeah. She knows this shit. Wow. I pay like 45 a uh, time on my therapist. Yeah. For help. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. 
But do you go to the comedy therapist? No, I go to uh, do an online one, BetterHelp. Really? Yeah. And are they just there all the time? You just go like, you up? I'm feeling sad. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, text uh, or message any questions during the week, but and I have one session. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One, like kind of FaceTime. Session. Yeah, I think they have office hours though, kind of like like a college professor. And it's a real person, not like a. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's a robot, Chris. <laughs> Hello, John. <laughs> a, a, a trouserless. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a pantless, otherwise distracted, playing <laughs> Minesweeper. Oh God, your problems sound like hell. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Russian bot. <laughs> you know what would help you? A vote for Putin. <laughs> and also you just lost 300 followers. <laughs> yeah, therapy is always really good. It's taken me like two years of two times a week therapy to just get like above sea level in terms of like... Oh, wording. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> if I can say one more thing to this yes, person, many just things. get back in the game. Like your first few times might not be great. Do you know what I mean? But you need to get back in the game. It's been for like, it's it's not going to be easy the first couple of times because like, but anxiety also diminishes with rehearsal. Mm, so yes. the more this guy gets in the mix, the less yeah. anxiety he'll feel. Throw down some apps. Hinge is good right now. Yeah, I agree. Hinge? Hinge is my favorite. What apps do you want, John? Hinge right now. I'm trying to wean off Bumble. What's wrong with Bumble? I don't think much is happening there right now. Hmm. Is that the one where the girls pick yeah, you? Yeah, they go for No, they just, when you match, they have to contact you first. Is that annoying? No. Because don't, like, don't a lot of guys like to make the first move? You end up having to. It just, it's like an initial screen. She just thing. says, like, hi. Yeah, like, what up? Yeah. yeah. Gross. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting pummeled with messages, personally. <laughs> Anyway, I find the more guys I date, the more I really like my boyfriend. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll With be right back. <laughs> and a quick word from our sponsor. Oops, don't have any yet. Back to us. <laughs> Grin, um, are you on any dating apps right now? You're recently-ish single. No, I have a boyfriend, no, you have a boyfriend for boyfriend. five months. All right. Well, yes. and I'm a bad friend. No, it's okay. I didn't, I don't really, I didn't, I didn't publicize him because last time it, uh, anyone knowing who my boyfriend was went so poorly that I just don't t really talk about him anymore. That makes sense. Yeah, but I did date him on, I met him on a dating app though, the, my current boyfriend. Which one? Uh, oh, I was like, which boyfriend? I was like, the ah. one we're not oh, talking no. about, oh, Chris. Oh. Oh. Uh, Raya, Raya. That's the one that Amy Schumer met her husband on, right? I don't know. Raya is like the exclusive one. <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. I mean, For famous people. It's okay. They, they're using famous very loosely. <laughs> I, w I will say you're going to see a lot of people who uh, are run open mics on there. As well. <laughs> 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 you need like two friends who are, you need to know two ma famous adjacent people to get approved to go on. Really? Yeah. But if the thing is, it's like you don't really want to go on because it's like literally in my profile. I wrote, if you're sick of dating models, try me. Like, because it's all <laughs> super. Super hot people, really? and then I'm like, let me try a personality, and everyone's like, no, we're not into that. <laughs> no, thank you. Know, you. Fucking, a personality is not gonna, you know, it's not gonna leave. You know what I mean? Hot looks wear away. That Make is such an important thing to talk about. Yeah. Uh, consider uh, Jimmy and Rosalind Carter. <laughs> I did not think we were going to. Mr. Minesweeper over here again. <laughs> Last year celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary. Okay. Do you know what I mean? God. Literally look like uh, those South American lizards that predict the future. You know what I mean? <laughs> With eyes that can go in any direction. Like they are perfectly herpetic. They are lizard people. They like grow together. <laughs> like a couple that's been together over a long time. They're not fucking like... anymore. She's not sucking his ah, crooked dick. Strangely, she's a squirter. <laughs> she is a squirter. Oh, but it's dust. Ross and Carter is a squirter. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks fade. Yeah. Looks fade. Anybody in the audience in a long-term relationship? <laughs> no, that's why they're here. Sure, sure. Well, we got a nice, beautiful couple right there in the back. Oh, oh my God, that's Those guys right there. Kelly. My man, been slinging dick for a long time, keeping his lady happy. They're cool. Fucking rock and they're roll. cool. They don't have any kids. Age of consent right. is 17 in New York. Okay. Right, got weird. Yeah. Back to the guests. Yeah. Back, Fizzy, hey. back to the guests. Hey. How long have you guys been together? Since she was 17. Since she was 17. And how old were you, Tom? 33. Oh my god, I think it was really okay. oh. oh. They've been together for 33 years. What's the secret to staying together 33 years? Coffee enemas? Coffee enemas? Cold brew. Cold brew. 
Cold throat. Cold throat. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you not kill me? Getting Look at them. They, they, they definitely still fuck. Look at these two. Definitely still fuck. Oh yeah, God, I was going to say that. Yes, and I give good blowjobs. <gasps> 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 it's a redhead thing. It's a fucking redhead thing. <laughs> Yeah. 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 There you go. Raise your kids right. I That's always it. like to give a blowjob like I have braces in college, you know, <laughs> which I did. Braces? I did have braces, she braces, oh, oh. In braces for my teeth. So what? How? How was that blowjob? Uh, very resistant on the part of the dude because <laughs> you're not gonna want to like put something. You know, it looks like a bear trap, but I was. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it should be less about me and more about you guys. Here's a question. Um, it's fun when it's yeah, about you. It, is, it, actually it always takes fun. a wild turn. <laughs> <laughs> we can edit this stuff out about the 17 no, I, 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 <laughs> Those are my favorite parts of the show so far. <laughs> my mom's been reincarnated as a squirt. Ew. <laughs> Well, here's the th oh, this is a question. It just says, "Fuck, Mary, kill Kevin, Bill, and Aaron." <laughs> Are these people in the studio, or yeah. Kevin Brennan, okay, Aaron Berg, okay, Bill Schultz, God, oh. Bill Schultz, oh. okay, Bill Schultz. I uh, we could move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have a call. We have a call. <laughs> I hope it's your mother. <laughs> press the button, Chrissy. Press the button. It's your mother. God. Uh, okay, put them on. Ooh, I, oh, you Wait, can how do I hear them? There. That's so cool. Kevin. Do I have to? It's like a real show, guys. <laughs> you can see the question. <laughs> I have headphones. Oh, interesting. No, just, just say caller. Caller. Hello? Chrissy. Chrissy? No. Hi. Wow. You're on the wet spot. Hi. It's me, your father. What's up? You're in the wet hey, spot. Chrissy. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh. Thank you. Hey, Chrissy. Um, no, Stop is, uh, Rick He's Torres walking fast. What are you I'm doing right, right now? now. I'm making a drop. I'm a truck driver. Ooh. Oh. My truck real quick. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, um, congratulations. Very happy for you. You know I've been rooting for you from the beginning for you to get your own show because you're just a natural comic. You don't even got to try hard. <laughs> but uh, So here's my question. Um, and it's really for your man. And look... You've been together uh, four plus years, right? You and your man Frank. That's him. that's his name, correct? It's coming. It's <laughs> getting a little personal. <laughs> no, well, no, he's no, in no, the back of my truck. I am in my truck. Okay. Uh, check this out. So I can't imagine being with you more than three months without trying to put a ring on it. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like oh. you're so gorgeous. Like a new so ring, sexy. or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can take it out. You know what I'm. Oh, no, I would shell out a, at least 10 grand on a beautiful ring for a beautiful woman like yourself. Wow. Funny, what if I lost hilarious. it immediately? I'd be like, oh, and a great. <laughs> That's what I would do. So I'm just wondering, like, um, has he ever proposed to you or has that never has come up, ever? marriage? <laughs> what have you taught? This is, yeah. I was like, are you my mom? Um, <laughs> we talked about it. He comes back in But, weird like, yeah. oh. <laughs> my parents had a terrible relationship, and I think it, like, really fucked me up about the idea of marriage. Because, like, I, oh, you know, so you just grow up and you hear two people, like, constantly putting each other down, and it's just, like... I don't know. It kind of scares me a little bit because I feel like, oh. except for Tom and Kelly, who are cool as fuck, but most married people I meet like take each other for granted, and like the things get worse, not better, when they get married. It, very true, and especially when you have kids, that can wreck or break. <laughs> you I can love this the guy. First years of having kids, it can wreck it. You know, you'll be good, but um, okay, okay, right on. So it's mostly on your part. So. Frank has hinted to uh, maybe wanting to get married. Very to you. specific. He's at the ring shop right now. Like, okay, great. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right. Well, cool. Like, um, this is you for a second. I thought this. Wait, don't you have a question about your own self, truck man? Okay, I. Okay, I'll ask about myself. So, um, here's the thing about me and my sex life with my wife. Yeah. I've gone to the. We've been married ten years. I've gone to the point where I have to create fantasies in my head to like really get hard, really, you know, go at it. I have to imagine she's my first cousin. Not an oh. actual first cousin, but that's <laughs> hey, my wife. Yeah, that's when we hang up the phone. <laughs> yeah, no, this that, is great. That she's my, yeah, that she's my first cousin, and it's that cousin, gets me not a hard. Because it's so naughty. It's so naughty thinking that she's my first cousin, <laughs> and I'm just wondering, has anyone ever fantasized to that extreme? That like, fantasized that it's your teacher. <laughs> 
for my case, my first cousin. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to like really get it going. I can answer. Just, just I'm ready. Yeah, go on. Oh, I'm yeah. ready. I haven't like I haven't like mentally sucked my husband's dick in seven years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every time I have blown this man, he has been someone else, and he could yeah. give a shit. Right. It doesn't you know matter, what I mean? Yeah. He could absolutely, but if I'm not, and like, you know, if I thought it was just the same asshole who won't trim his toenails, I would just drool on the fucker and give it a fucking lazy hand job. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if I pretend it's my dead father, <laughs> he's gonna come so good. In your hand, you'll get your inheritance. Inheritance. I'll get my inheritance. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the truck that driver was, that wanted was a to hear. Deep cut because she knows my life. Just so you know that. Wow. <laughs> I mean, are wow, you still that there? That's too funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. So, that was, so that's my question and comment. Um, Christy, I love you. You're the best. You're my Twitter side boo. You know, Ooh. I got your back, and um, you have a good day and a good Never show. Met. And I know oh, there's going to be more. He's definitely fucked his so wife sweet. thinking of you. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Are you still there? Have you fucked your wife thinking about me? Have I been I'm there here. at least with a water bottle? Have you thought about me while you're having sex with your wife? You know what? I don't, maybe I don't want. I want. Know. I would like to. This is Corinna. I, I, want, I would I like to know. You just came. Are you still there? <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear Have me? you thought about me while you're having sex with your wife? I've jacked off to you, but I've been. Yes. I've been, oh, you know, yes. yes! yes! And that's oh, so ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh my God. Was it my Twitter so, feed, like my excellent jokes, or no, Instagram? No, no. <laughs> You're a little bit more risque. You're a little bit more risque on your, on your Instagram photo. Yeah. He so, actually you blocked know. your Twitter to, so that he was able to come. <laughs> Shut up, bitch! Instant <laughs> <laughs> words. Oh. Oh. oh, man. All right, so no more callers. Okay. <laughs> we have more. We have another caller. Are you sure? Yes, yes. We need some kind of a sound that like that's like the wet spot that the guests can like yeah. we can push if something yeah. someone goes really over the so top. Wet. Yes, we need the a wet spot. Like a yes. splashing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, or splashing splash laser. Mm, like oh yeah, splash. Ooh, wet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wet. Yeah. 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 Wet. Yeah. Mm, wet. Can it be my voice? Yeah. Oh wet. Yes. <laughs> ah wet. Squirt out of my ass. Get wet. Ooh, that's I'm wet. so wet right ah. now. Ah. <laughs> uh, hi caller, you're on the wet spot. Please don't judge my personal life. <laughs> hey, am I on the air? Is it fucking you again? <laughs> no. Oh. This is Chris, right. you gotta you gotta say my name so I know it's me on the air. I don't know your name. It's a secret. Oh, okay. And question for Corinne, so already I am terrified. <laughs> Ryan <laughs> Where are you reading this from? Oh, there's a screen! <laughs> I know how to run Chrissy's show better than Chrissy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a little screen under the camera that tells me things. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's so tiny. So congrats, and I want you to pilot? smile. Let me see them gums, baby girl. All right, fuck you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Niggers! <laughs> I'm sensitive about my gums. <laughs> Do you know that I got excellent marks on my last dentist just... trip because I've been flossing? Is that a word? <laughs> Beautiful. Do you have a question or are you just here to be a dick? I think we hung up on him. Yeah, we hung up on him. Yeah, we Good. hung up on him. Thank you. Oh, but it was Somebody a question. loves me. Yeah. I like, I kinda you wish said, you I said something after gums, but I think I'm the only one who heard it. <laughs> and uh, we hung up on him. Okay. This question is from the guy that only writes in haikus. You guys know haiku guy? Terrifying. Yeah, he's on Twitter. <laughs> That's <laughs> a murderer it move. It is terrifying. <laughs> Okay, it just says vegetable with a canopy that best conceals sex in the garden. Oh, so what's like a vegetable? Hmm, this doesn't even make sense. <laughs> you know what? Have you guys ever had sex outside? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of outside, I guess. I'm sure. I'm not sober for a lot of it. Really? Yeah. Ro roof of my fraternity house, not a rape. <laughs> He approves. Wow. <laughs> you don't seem like a rapist. I know. I was Thank like, you. I was like, you weren't raped. I know, but or? I mentioned fraternity, so I thought I needed to. Yeah. What fraternity were you in? Delta Psi. Delta Psi. Yeah. What was your like? What'd you have to do to get into the fraternity? You don't want rape. To know. <laughs> of course <laughs> I did. Want to know? Did you have to you, rape someone? No, no, no. We never <laughs> didn't rape anybody, but we definitely got hit. 
What? In the butt. Oh. <laughs> oh, like a paddle <laughs> smack? That's yeah, yeah. no big deal. Yeah. Did you clean up beforehand? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wash up? <laughs> Did they wash the paddle? Yeah. <laughs> they just stick the paddle all the way in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Were you guys in secu- uh, fraternities? No, I went to art school. They didn't have a sororities or fraternities. There. Fraternities were in me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, I wasn't. But no, the sex outside thing. Sh- have we? We've all have. I had sex in front of you. <laughs> what? No, 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 no! She did. She had sex in front of me, and my, I had, I was, I, I came after uh, hosting two shows in a row, and I drink when I host shows. If I'm hosting a show, I'm fucking hammered. So uh, I showed up to the party. Someone shoved coke in me. I kept drinking, and then at some point, I took off my clothes and jumped in the hot tub. And then I was like, wait, my, no, actually, I went in fully dressed and then threw my wet clothes out of that. <coughs> and then I had to find my wet clothes and you were fucking on my socks. <laughs> so, I had to like wait for you to. <laughs> I like that you to, wait to shift. How expensive were these socks? No, they were like the most disgusting. So- I should have gone home sockless. I wasn't making great choices that night. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, and I just none of us were. Like, you, and you, I, you didn't even notice, but I like pilfered my socks back from under you we while bas- you were banging. We basically had a threesome. My boyfriend, yeah. uh, Mira, and me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Current or old bad one? No, it's my current okay. one. Yeah, okay. this was like Christina's birthday party. Yeah, so it was kind of, this is also my kind of outside one, because it was like, it was like a rooftop, but it was like glass enclosed, so I'm like, that's kind of outside Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's that level where I have rooftop anything. Like, I want a rooftop party. I knew I should have gone to that party. <laughs> it was a fucking killer party. Wow, you know what? I would have sex in front of all three of you. I'd watch. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sure? I was like, I'd watch, I guess. Ooh. Not sure. Well, you've had, you've had, have you been to a sex party? Uh, not in like a few years, and they were all like public. I'm like, cause I, I, well, because I'm like, that's like you know, public sex. Yeah. yeah. I know oh, a, yeah. a guy with a truck that'll fuck you outside. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and then I'll propose. <laughs> he sounded perfectly sexy, right? He we don't have a picture. Okay. No, he had good. He sounded like an attractive man. Did he send a picture in, or is that not how calls work? <laughs> 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 All right. Laughed at that. I'm still single from a tax standpoint, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So my mom always said. I get it. Yeah. Your mom had a lot of jobs. We need like sound clips of your mom. Oh God. Yeah. Just piece together the words. Yeah. That wouldn't be traumatic. I'm a squirter. I still have old voicemails from her, and I'll like play them, and it's like I'm a squirter. Yeah. 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 I love it. <laughs> Oh, boy. I would love if that was your priority next time she comes and visits you <laughs> getting clips for your podcast. Give me my, oh my squirts back. Gross. That's, that would be a good Poltergeist sequel. I don't think my mom was very, like, in her sexuality very much. She just liked to drink pina coladas and, like, flirt with dudes. That's fun. So her, she and I are so different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, okay, this is another question. Dear, this is... Crazy. Dear Chrissy, I accidentally called my grandmother a dickhead last Monday, and now, <laughs> now she's being an asshole about it. This doesn't even seem real. What can I do to keep her distracted from me debiting $200 a day from her checking account? <laughs> <laughs> Is that someone who's here? <laughs> Somebody stealing from your grandma? It's terrible. Have you guys ever stolen from a parent? No. Cut her insulin in half. Uh, Stolen from a parent, of course, as a young person. Yeah, like a little extra $2 for the lunch I really haven't. I never did either. No. Because they would like, they're all just like talking about like, oh, we're so poor, we can't afford a pool or a maid. And I was like, all right, fuck. Can't afford a pool or a maid. We're Long Island poor. (laughs) Really, white knuckling it. Um... (laughs) <laughs> oh, we have to swim with other people. Um, ooh, um, yeah, I, I, I like that you called your grandma a dickhead because the, I think the world needs a little bit more of a 
of calling grandmas dickheads. Yeah, we're too respectful to old people. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. true. Nobody's putting old people in their place. They're like, oh, they're old. Like they've earned. They can be. Yeah, they're know, just assholes who got older. Who just they like made it. You know. Yeah. Like yeah, I don't we see are it. putting them in their. We keep shoving them into homes. Yeah, yeah. that's their place. That's yeah. their place. Yeah, lock them in. But old people in nursing homes are having like a ton of that's rampant. Yes. Yeah. Fucking so much. Yeah, the STIs are rampant. Yes. Who is? Where are the old people getting the STIs from? Someone has to have sex with someone. <laughs> well, I mean, they had. <laughs> For sure. What's the oldest person you've ever had sex with, Mira? My first blowjob was from a 69-year-old man at a Christmas party, Ooh. and he took his teeth out. Nice. And I had been holding his great-grandbaby. <laughs> what? And then he took me to a children's toilet in a mansion. That was like <laughs> that was like rubber ducky themed and blew me and it was this my is Neverland. Yeah, I was about to or... say no, no, no. This is a, this, this is an episode of the Twilight. I almost zone. said the name. How of the old house. were you? I need to cool it. But uh, look, as I would, if I were on stage, I would absolutely just tell you the name of the house. It's called the butterfly effect. Ah! <laughs> and, then, and then I, uh, yeah, no. So that sixty nine. I but older still. I've I've had sex with some old people. How old were you when uh, that happened? I was uh, eighteen. I was okay. freshly eighteen. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Legally, you could have been 17. I so. could leave in this state. <laughs> in this state. But the whole thing was really sick. It was a sick affair. Well, there's no way anybody else is topping that. Uh, <laughs> I got a question, Chrissy, from the audience. Oh, question. All right, really quickly audience from the question, audience, or we fast. need to wrap it up. Mr. Ellis. Ellis. So, uh, Make this fucking quick, Ellis. If you go to a, uh, a massage place and uh, the lady at the very end... Uh, Services you in She's some sitting way. next to you, be honest. I wish. That is so <laughs> sick. Is that, uh... that is so fucking sick. Sure. <laughs> Please zoom in on Natalie. Is the uh shade? <laughs> I jerk you off without giving you a massage. Well, yeah. well thank you. <laughs> and, and I would let you without tipping you, but um... <laughs> Thanks, uh, older fish. <laughs> so, is it, fish. so is it considered cheating at the mm, very end? Because yes. it does get awkward if you try to stop her. Is it? You say yes. I don't if think. If your boyfriend accepts a blowjob from a massage person. Hand job. It's a hand job. Or a blowjob. Let's who's, say a blowjob. Who's well, let's blowing say hand at job massage even. parlors? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. God, it could be either way. I don't know. I guess if they know about it. It's part of the therapeutic experience, you would think, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's kind of <laughs> shitty. <laughs> do you? Especially when you give blowjobs as good as I do. If you're going somewhere else for it, I'm fucking offended. So it's an ego thing with you particularly. You feel... I mean, isn't it an ego thing with everybody? If somebody strays on you, it's like... Yeah. Oh, it's like, I'm thrilled when I get straight on. Yeah, well, it's like, <laughs> they put under the cat umbrella of sex worker, and that's also like one less one I have to give. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> Is it my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> it's Mother's Day. <laughs> it's Mother's Day, and someone else is going to blow the yeah. cat. <laughs> Guys. What did your girlfriend think? Uh, she don't know. Oh. Good no. All right, well, you're a piece of shit. On that note, this is subscription based. Isn't it? All right, guys, we have to close out the show. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you to the beautiful audience. Thank you to Mayron, Corinne, John. Follow all of them on social media. Check them out. Watch their podcasts. I've been Chrissy Mayer, your host. Yay. Thank you for coming.